built car I can I can tell I mean but I'm used to Hyundai's and Pontiac's so what do I know um, I got my boy here cleaning interiors and restore it to his glory it's, it's disgusting So getting that bumper off kicked my ass, I can't lie. It took for fucking ever, man. God damn. Like I said, this is a really well-built car. Everything was secured real nice. You can tell this definitely was a stock car his whole life. I got it from an old man who's, I guess, 70s, 80s, had heart problems, couldn't work on it no more. But he had it for 20 years. So finally got that off, it took like an hour. Well, can't stress it enough how nice this car was designed. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of parts, but everything came out pretty straightforward except for the bumper. I fought with that bumper for about an hour. It's a pain in the ass, but you know. pausing now for dinner. And probably continue tomorrow. Pull the exhaust, um, pull the drive shaft, pull the transmission off. And then um, yank the engine off. I'm not sure how I'm a, I'm not sure how I'm gonna hook up the uh, the damn engine hoist to this. I'm probably gonna remove the intake and try to bolt on it somewhere on the heads if I can. But you know, I'm just ripping and running, just going going with the flow, I guess. So you know, all this stuff I'm not gonna use. Bolt trash is Monday, so I'll probably put it up on, on the curb. So, yep. Everything was straightforward, so I didn't really feel the need to record it, but I'm sure the exhaust and everything would be a pain. All right, guys, I took a break last night. I didn't finish the whole thing. Um, I still gotta get the exhaust out. Um, and then unbolt the tranny, drive shaft, all that stuff. But um, there's plenty of space here. I'll probably mount some kind of heat exchanger, some kind of tall one, about that size. And there, um, the radiator sits on the other side. And you know, I may or may not run AC. I don't know because AC is in the right spot, and the LJ makes a kit, so literally everything would stay right here. Um, but I don't know yet. I got T tops, so don't really need AC. I never ran AC on all my swaps anyway. You know, just a personal choice. Um, or power steering, but I will I will run power steering on this because I want to track this car. So I'm about to get started. I'll I'll try to take some more footage and shit like that for y'all. She's almost out. Just gotta undo the mounts. Uh, a bunch of connectors. I'm gonna take the intake stuff off, get a chain, bolt it into the cylinder heads, and, and pull it off from the top. Everybody keeps telling me I'm supposed to drop the subframe and, and do it that way, but you know, I'm hard headed. I don't see a point in doing all that, especially um, with a car that's old. Maybe you have to fix a bunch of shit to putting them back together. So. I'm gonna keep it simple and get it out that way.
Oh, inside ground zero. Place is destroyed. Super dirty, food everywhere. I let spills just go where they go and sit. Um, Cause pulling this engine kicked my ass. Um, shot the channel with the chains and everything. He came, made it a lot easier. Um, so today I gotta clean everything. Um, I'm gonna have to push this out in the driveway and get simple green, just go crazy with simple green because it's disgusting in here, man. 30 years of grime, power steering leaks and such. Um, and I gotta pull all the necessary off, power steering, the AC lines, all that crap I gotta pull out. Um, the tubing, whatever the hell this is, some kind of air box because I plan on running the air filter or air intake over here. Um, I plan on running the Mishimoto oil cooler somewhere over here, maybe in here. Just just depends how I line all the space up. Um, but yeah, to pull this motor out, I cut all kind of lines because it just was fed up with it. Ended up cutting, cutting the, uh, the battery lines. Found one on eBay for twenty five bucks. Um, I'm gonna have to take this stuff apart. I don't know what this is right here. Doesn't look OEM. So maybe it was modified because whoever did this, look at this bullshit. That's garbage. Fucking garbage. Look at this. Garbage. Yeah. We're gonna get it done. So, um, a bit of a follow on. As you can see, um, the R32 transmission right behind me. It's a five speed. Um, and the gearing on the Z32, I believe it's a 408, which is way too high, man. I'm gonna be sitting at like 3000 RPMs, cruising at 65. And I do a lot of cruising. Um, I do a lot of street racing, which I'm trying to stop. I promise guys, I'm trying to stop. Um, I don't do the drag thing too much, um, but I'm gonna try to get some slips in. Uh, shout out to Jay, because he, he's, he's on me about it. Um, so my point being is, um, these trannies are good for six to 700 wheel horsepower. Um, I'm sorry, wheel torque. And they're in the R32, R33 Skylines, if my memory serves me correctly. So pretty much, yeah, it, it'll handle all the power I'm gonna throw at it. Um, and if it ever goes bad, I just seen one posted locally uh, for 600. So they're a dime a dozen, the strong. My only gripe is the five speed, but we can correct that. I wanna put some maybe three, six gears in it. Maybe I can find some three, two, sevens because I have plenty of torque. Um, so that's gonna be my next one. I gotta get the diff pulled. I gotta do the seals, the bushings because they're all cracked and, and garbage. I got coilovers coming in. I got CTSV brakes. I got, I got a whole bunch of stuff coming in. So I'm posting a lot more content. Um, but yeah. That's why I decided not to use my T56 because my T56, the first and second gear synchros are starting to go bad. And to rebuild it, y'all know it's like 1500 or something like that. So I sold it as a core for 800 and that'll that'll fund um, the adapter place. I just bought the uh, 350Z clutch, should be here this week. Um, good till 575 foot pounds of torque, but that's the highest I could see that wasn't a twin disc and over 1500 and you know, I'm on a budget build. So hopefully it holds. Um, so yeah, that's about how far I am right now. Still got to push this out and roll and get it cleaned. Um, as well as the transmission. So y'all stay tuned. So I got the I got the OEM computer out finally, but to pull the harness and everything in this corner there is a plate, and I haven't seen any write ups or anything on this, so I'm saying this because you wouldn't know otherwise. There's a plate you have to take off before the harness will free itself, and before you can install the new harness, or you'll damage it.
I don't think you'd have to remove the blower motor, but I removed it anyway. Because, damn. Save a few pounds, I don't know, maybe 20 pounds. I'm gonna be using it anyway. this bad boy. I couldn't find any greaser, so got it done. Now to clean up all this carnage, man. 